Hi there, YouTube family. I'm bringing you today cheaper and better. I love this video series that my good friend Everyday Heidi started. I will make sure that I list Everyday Heidi, Heidi's channel below. She's such a dear. And she did come up with this concept, so I wanna make sure that I give her the credit for that. It is your basic dupes video. So when the drugstore can do things better than high end can. And I have some really good ones for you today. But before we get into the video, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing by clicking the red button below. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. That's the way you get notified of any future videos I upload. So I hope that you really do enjoy this kind of content. Everybody, if you wouldn't mind, please giving me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Every thumbs up helps me get generated out into YouTube beauty land. And I really appreciate your help with that. So let's get into the dupes. I have a specific routine that I go through with my eyes. And one of them is using the Benefit Highbrow Pencil. This is not a a shimmery pencil or anything like that. It's just a light pink pencil that gives a lot of illumination to whatever part you put it on. And I usually use it on right below the arch in the eyebrow and, and right in the inner part of my eye to lighten up that cavern. But Wet n Wild also has their Ultimate Brow Highlighter. And this is basically the same exact thing. It is, you cannot tell a difference. Even in the texture, in the creaminess, in how it stays, how it illuminates, all those things. You can't tell a difference, but boy, you can tell a difference in the price. So when this is gone, I am definitely just going to stick with the Wet n Wild one and be using that over and over again. So that is number one. Number two is that every time I do my eye makeup, I have fallen in love with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyeshadow Primer. I love this eyeshadow primer for a couple of reasons. The first reason is obviously because it keeps my eyeshadow on, but the second reason is because it is so opaque and it takes out any redness that I have. It's just plain lovely. It grips the eyeshadow like crazy. It's really good. Then I think a wonderful substitute is the Essence I Love Color eyeshadow base. It is so nice also. Now it doesn't have the same colors. So the Anastasia kind of has a white color. This one has more of a skin-like color or tone to it. So the Anastasia is right here and this is the Essence one. This will perform almost identically to the Anastasia one. This is what I used before I discovered the Anastasia one. But I do switch off with the Essence I Love Color one as well. Because as you can see, it's just almost an identical dupe for it. And as I touch it right here, even the texture of it is just about identical. So love that it saves you a whole lot when you're buying your makeup. Okay, the next product that is really good is from Smashbox. And this is the Photo Finish Primerizer. This is primer and moisturizer in one. Now, when I looked on the ingredients of this, I thought it was gonna be more along the lines of just having just the hydrating effects in it, but it doesn't. It also has in the dimethicone, which is the pore smoothing part that we all want. When you put this on, it is very light. It is very airy. It feels more like a moisturizer than it does a primer because you know primers normally have this slip to them. But as it dries down, it does have that little bit of slip in it. So that's when you feel the dimethicone, which that is the ingredient that we want to minimize pores. So that's what we press into our pores. So this really does a great job of creating a barrier between your foundation and your moisturizer for the day but it also gives a little bit of moisture if you're very dry, and it definitely gives the pore minimizing or the smoothing effect. But I actually found a dupe in the Milani Prime Perfection Face Primer. This is the hydrating and pore minimizing one. Now this one does come out white, and it does come out looking a little bit thicker than the other one. But as you work it in, exactly the same thing happens. You can feel that hydration, and you can feel that dimethicone. Now for me, the Smashbox one is just a little too thin in that it doesn't do as good of a job as the Milani does in hiding my large pores around my nose and my chin. The other thing is this has just a very slight, very, very slight mint scent to it, and it feels very cooling. So it's almost like it might have some eucalyptus or maybe some mint in it or menthol in it. It doesn't like blast you, but you definitely can smell the minty quality to it, and you definitely can feel the cooling on your skin. So this quickly became my favorite primer, even though it's in this little trial size, I'm almost out. 
getting ready to pre-purchase this again. I feel like it is better than the actual Smashbox one. My it next one is a lip product and this is from MAC and this is their Dazzle Gloss. And it is so pretty. It is in the color. Let's see if I can read this without my glasses. Via Veneto, something like that. I can't see it without my glasses. I will make sure I put it up on the screen. This is like a beautiful lipstick topper that just has like a holographic pink, kind of a little bit of lavender in there and it's so pretty. And when you look at it through the tube, you would think that it would have like glitter particles in it, it doesn't. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's thick enough to where it's gonna last a long time but not sticky. So I really have loved that one. But here's my two dupes. The first one is from L'Oreal and this is the Galaxy Lumiere holographic lip gloss and this one is in polaris pink and when i put this next to it you're going to see that it is as far as color goes it is such a close one it has just an itty bit more pink in it but it does again have that holographic effect where it does have the duo chrome to it and then the other one is even cheaper than the l'oreal and this is the la girl holographic gloss topper and the writing on here is so small, I'm gonna throw the name up here because I can't see it. But this one is, as far as I'm concerned, absolutely identical to it. They are just beautiful. I love having the pink with a little shift of purple on your lips. I'll just put a little bit on for you guys. I just think that's so pretty to have that little bit of shift, little bit of dimension to your lips so that your lips really stand out. So those are some fun dupes that I found. Okay, I have another lip one for you. This one is a MAC lipstick, which is one of my favorite lipsticks. It's called Snob. And it is kind of a satiny matte color that is more on the lines of a blue pink. And I really, really like it. But I have a dupe. This one is from Maybelline and this is Blushing Pout. And I think this one is probably just a little bit better than the MAC one. And I'll tell you why. Look at it, identical colors. This one is a little bit more hydrating. So if I only wear this on my lips, then throughout the day, I don't get the dryness that the MAC does. The MAC claims to be just a satin formula, but when I look at it, I see more of a matte than the actual Maybelline one. So both of them say they're satin, but I feel like the Maybelline one is just a bit more comfortable from the MAC one. All right, one of my very, very, very favorites from Becca in her pressed shimmer powders is the one that is called Prismatic Amethyst. And of course you would think that I got it for the purple and I would have thought that it would have been purple too, but it isn't. It is this beautiful light icy pink color that has a shift in it that is just absolutely gorgeous. And the pink in it just, it just brightens your face. If you are a light to medium color gal, it just is so brightening and so pretty. Essence has their pure nude space lighter. Okay, we, no, we're not talking about the actual highlighter one that everybody loves just for the subtle glow. This is the space lighter one. And it has a color that is just almost identical, maybe a little bit lighter, but it has that duo chrome effect. And it is so close, you guys. It is just one that so pretty and so close on the way that it looks on your skin that there's no way anybody would be able to tell. And this is a little bit softer than the actual Pure Nude Highlighter, just a little bit softer of a formula. So I do really like that. I like the Becca one too, but for being quite close to an identical formula, I think the Essence one is just a little bit creamier. So if you have been eyeballing this one and thinking about getting the one from Becca that is the Amethyst, Try the Space Light. I think you're gonna like it just as much. All right, another lip comes from Buxom. This is one of my favorite Buxom colors. And you guys, if you've ever tried Buxom, you know that it definitely has that cooling effect. And you know, it's like, it's got the menthol in it. And that's what's supposed to be the plumping factor. Okay, so I'm not talking about the plumping factor for this one i'm just talking about just the straight color of it this one is in lavender cosmo it's more along the lines of a pinky color so there is it right there it goes good on nude lipsticks it goes good on top of pink lipsticks it's just really pretty but i like the color of it i just wish it was a little bit darker so in walks revlon <laughs> and this is one of their glosses and this is in pink diamond I like this formula better for two reasons. It stays longer and it's a little bit more opaque. So the color of that, 
the color of the one that is the Lavender Cosmo and Buxom. If you like the formula, stick with that one. But if it's just the color you're seeking, that pink diamond one from Revlon is almost exactly, but it's a little bit more opaque. So you can wear it all by itself. Um, you can obviously wear the Buxom one by itself too, but you can wear this one by itself and it does the job of giving you a different lip color than just being, you know, a lip topper. So for me, I really have been enjoying this. Love the color of it. Absolutely love the color. This is one of those colors that has been around for a long time and I repurchased it over and over again. And when I was looking for dupes in my collection and found that I was like, pretty good on that one. So like that one a whole lot too. And then lastly, we're going to talk about the Strivectin neck cream. Now this is supposed to have TL Advanced Tightening Neck Cream, and it's supposed to have some patented formula in there. Okay. I bought this. I was excited about it. I have been having troubles with my neck because I'm losing weight. My neck is starting to sag. So I thought I'm going to buy, you know, one that everybody says is fantastic and it does the job really well. You got the before, you got the after pictures. I don't like this stuff, you guys. I don't like it at all. And I'll tell you why. When I put it on my neck, I can put it on, rub it in, feel like I've rubbed it in, and then I'll be looking down at my phone or down at my tablet or working on my laptop and looking back and forth, and all of a sudden I'll feel like it's kind of sticky. And I will go up there and I'll just kind of rub it a little bit, and it has balled up in my neck creases. And then I will get kind of disgusted with it and try, it, try to wipe it off, and then all of it balls up. If it balls up and it rubs off, what is it really doing for you? It's not, you know, it's not sinking into your skin. You've got the product that you've rubbed off. I don't feel like it's really that great. As a matter of fact, it's a disappointing product as far as I'm concerned. But the Gold Bond Ultimate Neck and Chest Firming Cream, this stuff I got two weeks ago, I think three weeks ago, and I'm already feeling like I'm noticing that I have less sagging here in my neck area and less wrinkles. And what it does more than anything that I'm loving is that it hydrates so good and you can feel it sink in. And I really like that it does what it says it's going to, neck and chest firming cream, which is exactly what this product said, but this just balled up, this sinks in and I'm seeing results with this. I didn't see results even after three or four weeks of it. It just every single time I put it on, it was balling up. So I would highly recommend the Gold Bond one. It just seems to be doing a much better job at helping my neck and helping those wrinkles down there. Okay, that is it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy the dupes videos. Don't forget to tell me about your dupes. Do you guys have any dupes that you have found that maybe work better or, or heard here on YouTube? Any dupes that you have decided to pick up that worked out really good for you? Thank that you all so much for spending part of your day with me. Please give me a thumbs up on your way out of here. It really does help me a lot. Love you all so very much. Take care of yourselves. Have a great week or weekend, and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye guys.